Hey, what's up? I'm Haley Lou, uh, and I'm gonna be showing you what I put on my face every day to look and feel good. As you can see, I've got some stickers on my face here. Uh, they're zit stickers, but they're the cute kind. I'm gonna wash my face with this gentle cleanser. It's organic. I saw that Alicia Keys uses Eminence, so then I started using Eminence. This is my mask. It's uh, also Eminence. While this is on my face, I'm gonna take my supplements, these two bad boys. <laughs> I totally succumb to an Instagram ad and order these. And they're supposed to be for PMS uh, and hormonal acne and everything. And I've been taking it for two months and both my periods within those two months have been so much like easier and I haven't gotten those like underground painful cystic zits. While my skin's pretty damp, I'm gonna put my serum on. I'm pretty generous with this because I put it all over my face and neck. I'm gonna get it all down here as well because I don't want wrinkly boobs, you know? I had a ballet teacher. She noticed that I was like really being extra hard on myself and comparing a lot uh, to other girls in class, comparing my body, comparing everything in a very negative way. And she pulled me aside and she was like, Haley, every time you look at yourself in the mirror and you feel that negative self-talk coming in, force yourself to say three compliments about your appearance and say that if you're by yourself in the morning getting ready or whatever say them out loud to yourself looking at yourself in the mirror and it's so hard but i do that i've been doing that since she told me when i was like nine or something so i do that i force myself to do it three compliments about myself right now uh i like my nose it's cute i also love my eyebrows also i like my smile compliment yourself it's fun i really do feel like i'm in a better mood I get this at the drugstore, uh, but it is natural and it's oil-free. I'm using this one for six, seven years. And I'm also very generous with this. It's so great as I get older and wiser um, and have had more experiences, I like get these tools that kind of build up that I can really rely on. And this whole time, like, you know, spending time with yourself for yourself is definitely a big tool for me. I go to therapy, I dance, I crochet. One of my foundations has an SPF in it, so I put that on my face, but I don't like having like makeup on my neck and ears and stuff, but I want to be protected from the sun. So I use just a nice, sunscreen. I never wore sunscreen as a kid and that's bad because I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, which is all about the sun. And I get my ears because apparently your ears, your nose and your neck are what ages the quickest. I'm gonna light some good old incense. Fire. Incense makes me feel grounded. I feel um, like like a spiritual woman with power. Now I'm gonna start my makeup. Here we go. My first step is this, uh, which is amazing. It's not heavy. It feels like a continuation of my skincare and it has SPF and big fan. And that's it. That's it guys. Don't I look great? Thanks for watching. Uh, no, I rub this in, I use my hands. It is very thin, which I mentioned, so I like to add a teeny tiny bit of proper foundation on top of it. Love this uh, company, 100% pure. The ingredients list looks like a smoothie. <laughs> it's tinted with apricot and Carrot, <laughs> that's so cool. And I just get the areas that I like to be just covered a little bit more. I use this blending brush situation and I just tap it 
because when I start going like this, it makes little streaks. Not a fan. I absolutely despise the feeling of foundation on my lips. Revolutionary, no one's ever heard of it. <laughs> this stuff is great. I'm going to use this random little specimen of tan stuff. A makeup artist gave it to me once. It might even be tattoo cover up because it's so thick and it stays on forever. This was my first makeup ever that I got. And I dab it in there. Brows, it's the best part. I started doing makeup, like the first time I ever did it was when I was really young in dance competitions because I, you know, have danced since I was two or whatever. This is something that I discovered back then. Fun thing I've learned about myself lately is I have really weak hands. And I learned that in pole dancing class. I got into pole dancing because I'm super fascinated with strippers. Like I love a strip club, <laughs> I really do. And it can feel so uh, empowering. I feel like it's, it's really hard to just like step into your like sexual power. And uh, that's something I've, I've really been embracing lately. Now I'm gonna do eyeshadow, here we go. Um, super excited about this. My friend Peyton List sent me all of this makeup to try from her brand Play. And it actually became my favorite eyeshadow. It's so pigmented, I love the colors. Look how pretty these are. Little bit of that, I don't have to use that much. I try my best, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of nobody's perfect, sup? As you guys can see, I collect cardboard cutouts for fun. One of my best friend's boyfriends thinks I look like Susan. So, which honestly, <laughs> he's right. Like, right? Mom? Hello? And then Miley, it is just Miley Cyrus. I'm gonna do this darker color, but just a tiny bit of it mixed with this kind of slightly orange, orangier mauve. I use two different mascaras. So this is again, that brand 100% pure that's like literally made of food. It's tinted with cocoa and coffee beans and blackberries and stuff. When you put it on, go kind of inward like this to get it to get it on there and then shape it feathering out a bit. My happy toy. It does not vibrate, but I'll send an email to the company or whatever. Anyways, the uh, makeup artist on the White Lotus used this and my eyelashes always look just like so nice. So I just got to work with Jennifer Coolidge, you guys. That was so cool. Lidge. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I can't take credit for that joke because my friend Adam, who's in the show, came up with it the other day. She is an icon, like she's actually an icon. And I got to work in scenes with her. I literally got to sit across from her while she was doing her thing, being an icon and observe and like see how chaotic she is in all of the best ways. And uh, all my real responsibility was, was not laughing and ruining takes. But you know, I, I did ruin some takes and I also did pee my, my pants. Twice, I peed my pants twice. Now I'm gonna do blush, which is another fun part. Makeup is fun. I just like found the, the true joy in makeup recently. I put a lot of it on, let me tell you. I want to look like Rudolph. Like uh, that's just my goal. So here we go. As I was doing this movie called Five Feet Apart, we were shooting in New Orleans in the summer but the characters were supposed to be 
in the snow in the winter. So any scenes we had outside were like against a green screen and it was fake snow, but we were all bundled up and had to look like we were freezing. So the makeup artist put blush on our nose to make it look like we had a little frostbite or something. And I have never thought I looked cuter. Since then I've been putting blush on my nose. You guessed it, adding even more blush. This time in the form of a stick thing. I'm aware that I have a lot of blush on, but <laughs> I want more. This is science, this lip color thing, cause it's clear. Like, I mean, it's a little bit, you see the pink on there, but it's for the most part clear. And then it goes on clear. But then it does some magical thing where you, you'll hopefully just start seeing my lips become a little bit pinker. Now I'm gonna try to figure out what to do with my hair. My favorite thing is uh, just hair oil and this stuff smells amazing. I'm using so much of this. My last thing is just some perfume. It's called Oud, Immortal or Immortal. I don't know how to say things fancy, but it smells nice. This is it. I, I think I look pretty cutie. Uh, thanks for watching me talk to myself and I'm gonna go and, and teach a dance class to old people because that's what I do with my life. Bye. <laughs>